as I've told you about ten times, Mr. Fartnart. Sorry, Fartnart. The policy you currently hold with us only ensures your wife's anus during normal Congress. We cannot be held responsible for. No, we do not hold third party claims. Look, were you in the room when this occurred? Were you even aware the incident was occurring? Very well, incidents. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds to me, sir, as if you not only have an old model that isn't worth a large policy you have on it, but it's also being used by an uninsured rider. Yes, I know how attached you can get to these things. Hmm? Hmm. But sentimental value does not pay to keep your partner maintained. Yeah, I can appreciate she has a policy on you, but your systems have an up-to-date UI. <sighs> Look, Mr. Fartnard, I'm not being sexist. It would hardly be in my best interests. I'm simply looking out for your best interests. Well, my best advice is to stop the policy for a start. There's no point in ensuring an out-of-date model that's probably being insured by and used by someone else. Let me check your details that we have. Hmm? Yeah. Um, can I ask you a few security questions for data protection? No, I'm afraid, sir. Uh, I have to. It won't take a second. Thanks. Now, can I ask your postcode? Hmm? Alpha. Alpha. Titty. Titty. Sierra. Okay. And my house number, 69DD, thanks. Uh, right now, sir, if you don't mind, what I'm going to do is get off the phone to you for a couple of minutes. Don't worry, I'll be, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go right back to you. <coughs> and, and I'm going to do a bit of research on the current situation you're in. Yes, sir. I can appreciate how, how uncomfortable that probably is to you. Look, my advice would be to put it in cold water and not to let her do that until we've got you covered. Right? No, look, no sir, that's not what I'm saying. I can't recommend a policy until I've had a chance to consider your case and do a bit of research on what insurance packages we can best offer you. I'm sorry. I'll call you right back. Wanna thank Darby? Yeah, right. Go for it. I've got nothing better on. Hello again, Mr. Fartnut. It's me, Darby Tulip. We spoke about your copulation insurance not half an hour ago. Are you okay? Well, it's good you didn't slap her back in the same part of her anatomy, sir, because we haven't got her insured yet. <coughs> well, I can now say, after some extensive research in the company's files, that I think we can put a comprehensive package together for you. May I ask how old the make and model of your partner and you and your wife have is uh, that you wish to put a policy on? Jeez. 
tulips, biscuits. They're blooming priceless. <laughs> Get it, boy.